Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom and today we're going to do a video all about collectibles. Now this is things like memorabilia, um, things Audi produced when launching the car, um, things they made along the way and then accessories you could have bought at the time or were given when you purchased the car from Audi. Some really cool stuff, some unique stuff and hopefully some of the stuff I don't mention you'll actually have and be able to send me pictures and some information about down in the comments. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump to that intro. Now, I don't know if it's just me or if you like this kind of stuff, there is loads to get. I mean, I've got a selection of press photos, I've got a few manuals, a few books, a few brochures, just Half the reason is because when I buy cars, they come with stuff. Um, my friend, Peter Loudon, big shout out to Peter because he's given me loads of pictures because he collects this stuff himself. And I've seen it come up over on eBay and, and Facebook market groups and all that kind of stuff throughout the time. Now, the reason I'm doing this video now is I've been holding on to it for a little while, which obviously I was getting some of the information because there's so much out there that, to be honest, I'm going to miss a load and you're going to tell me down in the comments, hopefully, all the stuff you've got that I haven't mentioned in this video, which would be... Epic, um, and is coming up to Christmas, and you're thinking of maybe something to buy. Uh, you get your mother-in-law doesn't know what to buy you, in, or wants to spend sort of twenty to forty pound. There's definitely going to be a few items on this list that maybe you could get, and it's worth squirreling away for fifteen or twenty years, and they might be worth a few quid more. Not financial advice, but hey, if it's worth a few quid now, it was given out free back then. So, <laughs> right, let's get jump into it. So I've got some pictures. I'll, I'll flag them up as we go through it. Of course, the first things are things like press photographs. So before they released um, the car, when they took it to the motor show to, in, uh, to unveil it and show the world, they had press photographs. They had sales brochures. They had a book called The, Sto the TT Story, which is like a glossary of drawings and sort of how it all come about and the different um, design characteristics of the, the car. Um, very, very cool. Now, these can range anything from a couple of quid right up to probably 100 or 200 pounds depending on the rarity. Press photos are quite common, there's quite a few because if you think most dealers would have had them, they might have sent them to local garages or local dealerships or customers of Audi who may want a TT and they were trying to sell them on it by sending them these press photographs. Very, very cool. Um, they take some of the early models and some of the things that in the early models actually differ from what they made. Um, so the press photographs aren't always 100% um, of what they actually produced, but also um, some of these cars are still in circulation, which is pretty cool. So you've got a picture of it when it was first produced and it's still going to this day. Um, other things that people like are things like launch packs, um, price lists and marketing posters. So these are all things that you can collect along the way if maybe you worked in an Audi dealership or when you bought your car, they give you the price lists of these cars. And it's great to see if you go back 15 or 20 years and see how much, well, nearly 25 years now, and see how much it was for, for a different set of wheels, for a different interior choice, um, bigger wheels, and all the different bits and bobs you could have done. And of course, the differences between the 180, the 225, the V6, and the Quattro Sport. Now, obviously, they differ year to year, but you get the idea. It's a very nice literature. Um, the press photos and the posters ideal for hanging on the wall in the office, the man cave, wherever it is you like to have your photos on the wall. Um, marketing posters. Now, some of these, they didn't they give that many out. And some of them come in like a specialist tube. I've got a picture. Um, it comes in a black, matte black tube with a, a, t a st sticker of a TT over it. Very cool, very rare. Um, quite a nice thing to have. And then you go on to other things. Now they have number plate surrounds, which are, I did get one photo, but it's not a very good one. It's like a, they're like a, a press thing. So it goes on the, on the number plate underneath. There's a thing that says like press release car or um, when they first released them, they had these, these special things on, which is quite a cool thing. May or may not be that interesting to some people. I have no need for them because I just like fresh, clean plates. Always nice if they've got the little dealer sticker on the bottom, but it is what it is. Um, and then there's other things like you could buy. So now if you walked into Audi right now, you expect to see things in their little glass cabinet, like a teddy bear, some sort of air freshener, um, maybe a watch, a key ring, a calendar, that kind of stuff. Now they did quite a few different things. Now, of course, 
throughout the years, they've always done key rings. I haven't managed to actually find any key rings. So if you had, apart from the dealer ones, which is, I don't have a key ring to hand, but it's sort of like a rectangle with a rounded bottom and it just has like the name of the dealer, uh, like Amatrim Audi or whatever imprinted on it. But apart from that, I didn't know if they did any TT specific ones. Um, they did things like a, a paperweight, which was uh, like a magnifying glass, which came in, I'm just trying to find a picture of it because I've got one here somewhere. Here we go. And it came in the um, the vent ring or the roll top, the Roadster roll top rings. Um, and it's a magnifying glass, comes with a felt cloth so you can clean it. Quite a nice one, not super expensive. I think the last time they sold between 20 and 40 pounds. Very cool little thing. Um, they did a clock, which was a small round um, aluminium clock. So I'm just looking through my photos, trying to find it, um, which has TT printed on it. And it's got a picture of uh, a Roadster on both sides. But the Roadster on the left has a hard top and it's got TT on the bottom. Um, and it does different things, but very, very cool things. Um, I And there's a watch. While we're talking about timekeeping, there is a very, very cool watch. Brown leather strap, uh, Quattro automatic with TT. And it has the date on which, if you're a watch guy, love a date um <laughs> i've only ever managed to find a picture of one so how easy they are to get who knows there is some strange ones um i managed to find a picture of a pencil case which came with a rubber and a sharpener which has a similar pattern to the um silver disc that goes into the door handle on the driver's door and that's a faber castell set which comes with two tt pencils a rubber and a sharpener again only managed to find one, so how many there are available still, I don't know. Um, they did this cool um, invitation to a press presentation, which was what I can only describe as looks like a fuel cap, and then on the reverse has it um, as like a leather thing with a TT badge and the Quattro badge in it. Kind of looks like a old tax disc holder if you ever looked at the old Richbrook ones that go in the window. Um, and this actually has engraved in it the details of the press launch, um, which is in May. 1999 in Leeds, very, very cool thing. And I'm, I don't know how many people would have kept hold of those because I'm guessing they'd have been sent out to press and local dealerships and all that kind of stuff. It's just whether they've kept it and then what they do with it afterwards. Because like anything, you keep it, you put it in the loft and then you move house and it gets lost and, and whatever. So it'd be interesting to know how many of them uh, are still knocking about. Um, we've got a chocolate, well, whether I would eat it or not now, 20 something years later, Probably not, but that is, uh, <laughs> again, going with the same round Audi rings in the centre, uh, dimpled round the outside, and it comes with a little um, model car. How many of them are still around? I would have smashed that in 10 seconds. Whomp, gone. <laughs> Who cares about the resale value? What did it taste like? <laughs> uh, what else have we got on the list? We've got playing cards. Um very, very cool. So Peter sent me these because uh, he's got a set. Very, very cool. Um, just Audi TT playing cards. I think if you go into Audi now, you could probably buy some later edition Audi cards and also later companies they did um, like Top Trumps and all that kind of stuff with the TT in. Um, what other stuff do we have? We have got pin badges. Um, pin badges, very cool. There's only a couple I managed to find. One was the, just a TT on a logo and the other one was a fuel cap which to be honest, if I could get one, they are pretty epic because I don't wear pin badges, but it's a very cool thing to have. And it's a nice little memento, very easy to keep, very small. Um, and it comes in a nice little presentation box that tells you about it and all of that kind of stuff. Now, last on my list is uh, Mini Champ die cast and a few Revel models. Now there is loads of models available but some of these were actually dealer specific um i have one in my loft which is a nimbus i believe it's a nimbus roadster with um baseball leather interior so it's very cool um peter sent me some pictures of his he's got a selection of uh six in one cabinet and then on the other he's got an an abd one and another couple um a lot of roadsters <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's some coops out there as well but it's great to see 
that they do variable options in the diecast model. Some of these actually, if you go onto eBay right now, they vary in price right from sort of 20, 30 pounds to a couple of hundred pounds, depending on how rare they are. So quite a cool um, thing to have. They do little tiny ones. Whether they're actually genuinely from Audi or not, I don't actually know, or made on behalf or a license of them. Um, but very, very cool things to have. If you don't like having or buying memorabilia paperwork and stuff and just having it in a cupboard or a folder, having a, a nice die cast model in a cabinet or on display is quite a cool thing. The kids always like to look at them. Um, if you're keen enough, you let them play with them. They don't damage them. <laughs> um, but yeah, the posters and the pictures, there is a predator of them. Finding them, it's not always the easiest thing to do because sometimes they're listed as press photography, sometimes they're listed as memorabilia, sometimes they're brochures, sometimes they just get put as Audi TT booklets, whatever. So not the easiest thing to find. But if you do look around, you will find some stuff. And I wanted to share this with you because I thought it was quite a cool thing. Because um, I know obviously we all love the TT, um, hence the channel and all the subscribers, which is, is Ace, I love them as well. But it's always nice to look at the memorabilia. It may not be for everyone, but it's nostalgia. It's, um, I mean, if you go into Audi now, next time you're, you're passing, just pop in and have a look in their glass cabinet, see what they've got. There's some cool stuff. Um, you can still get the Gecko air fresheners and a few other bits. Um, but I thought it was a really nice touch. And coming up to Christmas, great idea for Christmas presents. If you can find any, I'm sure loads of people will be sticking all their stuff they don't want up for sale now. <laughs> <laughs> or if you've got um, some stuff with a card, now you appreciate it a bit more, knowing that it's a little bit rarer and uh, sort of sought after. And one more thing before we finish this video, uh, I just wanted to let you know, there are still a few copies of the official Parrot Bros calendar um, available on our website for purchase. Uh, there's 12 months of TTs, including December, which has a mega mashup of everyone who applied for this or for the voting. Um, for this, so 12 months of TTs, and of course this is the third year running we've been doing the uh, the Parrot Blows calendar, so thank you to everyone who has been um, sending their photos in and, and buying these, absolutely love them, I've got them all stored for the future, and also when you buy a calendar, also sending out, I've got to try and find them now, our new decal. Now this, you may not be able to see very well, I need to put a light behind it, so bear with me. Um, it is a can you see that just about yeah it's a, uh, a logo that goes on the inside of your window and it is a full color logo um, like our stickers here I'll show you so like that uh, it's a rectangular one and it sticks on the inside of your window facing out a bit like a dealer sticker because um, I thought nice and simple they're about four inches long so they're not massive um, but full color and just a nice little touch. I thought it was about time we come into the 21st century. <laughs> and I'll throw one of those in with every single calendar. Um, they're not available yet. They will be available in a couple of weeks on the website and on Facebook. So keep an eye out for that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you've got anything that I haven't mentioned, which is entirely possible, I want to hear about it down in those comments. <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.